Hi guys, we are going to look at how to set up the warp for your cardboard loom weaving. What you'll need to start off with is a yarn color of your choosing, your cardboard loom, and some tape. Okay, with your yarn, find your end. You're going to slide it through the furthest little strip there and then on the back side make sure it goes at least halfway down take a bit of tape and get that taped on okay on the other side make sure that's pulled tight enough where you can't move it too much but not so tight that it's sliding in your tape okay now we're gonna go back to the front and it's a big circle process. You're going to go all the way to the other side, flip it over. Remember the back is the side of my tape. You're going to go through the next slot at this side, flip. You're going to keep going through that process. This is what sets up your warp. Remember warp in weaving is the up down part. What you actually weave is called a weft. If you don't recall my lovely little reminder, weft rhymes with left, and we weave right to left and left to right, so that's how I remember which is which. Okay, and because we're using a nice thick cardboard, it's good because it's keeping the yarn in those little cuts that are there and not getting all bendy. If you accidentally chose something that wasn't as thick for cardboard, it would get all bendy and it would be really difficult to be doing your warp right now, but also to be weaving. quite fun to constantly go in a circle right now, isn't it? You end up using quite a bit of yarn and that's alright. Okay, reminder the back side is the side with the tape. When you start getting to the end and we're almost there, you're going to want to make sure that that's the side that you cut from your spool of yarn and you tape that side on the back too so that at the end of your weaving, giving you a little preview, when you're all done, you'll be able to tie those pieces together and your weaving will stay together a little bit better. Okay, now I've gone to my end. This is my front because there is no tape. Like I said, I'm going to wind it back to the back. It's got the side with the tape. Just like we did with the side, you're going to be about halfway. Make a cut. Get you a piece of tape. And tape that on. That just keeps it from moving while you're weaving. It's hard to get in there because I made so many strips. But my warp is now ready to go and I'm ready to weave.